detailed characteristics of the machine uh, by uh, for the rotor stator and the coil windings. Uh, skewing can be applied in motor sub, uh, induction motor models as a as an angle or as a fraction of a pitch. So, um, as well as uh, the user can also specify temperature if temperature dependent data, material data, are available or have been supplied. Uh, the rotor materials, uh, lamination materials, are selected from uh, the materials library. And uh, once again, uh, this includes, uh, of course, all of the materials from uh, the default uh, uh, library, materials library in Motorsolve, as well as the ability to add uh, new materials uh, to the library for applications to any part of a design process. Uh, bar materials may also be selected. Aluminum, copper are default, um, are some of the default selections. But once again, uh, these are by no means uh, uh, there, there, there is absolutely no restriction on the material that can be uh, used by the user to model a particular machine. Um, having specified these, uh, it's usually common practice to uh, start with a specification of the uh, of the extreme uh, dimensions, the inner and uh, outer diameters of a particular machine. So I'd like to begin by specifying uh, the outer diameter to 74. 0.6 millimeters, and the inner diameter to 15.87 millimeters. And you can see that as uh, you can see two things. The first is that as I apply any of these uh, dimensions, uh, these you can see in the view area that the model gets updated instantly. So, uh, so that's one of the features of the real-time aspect that I was talking about earlier. Uh, we can now zoom in and continue with our specification of uh, various aspects of the uh, of this design. And I'm going to begin by changing the core thickness to 11.86, and continuing on with uh, bar spacing of uh, 3.63. Keep the bar inset at, uh, at zero, bar depth at uh, 17.5. And so here's an example of uh, something, one of the most uh, uh, powerful features of Motorsoft, where what I've done is I've tried to enter in uh, a new uh, dimension to the model that uh, where the variational geometry engine kicks in. So what this implies is that I'm trying to change a change a dimension in order to uh, to accommodate uh, to accommodate which uh, Motorsoft will need to uh, change some other di uh, other dimension that I've already specified. And we can easily we can simply say that yes, you can go ahead and override my previous dimensions, or simply say sim decline the uh, warning that I'm about to change something that. Uh, uh, that will change some previous dimensions. So these are uh, these are uh, specified as protected dimensions in the uh, protected dimensions uh, chart that accompanies uh, Motorsolve. So continuing on, uh, let's say we can uh, change the uh, uh, bridge angle to uh, 30 degrees. Let's say and uh, back width to 3.7. We'll leave it at that. And we'll keep the bar area at 102.217 uh, millimeters squared. So uh, the idea here is that uh, there is an exhaustive list of parameters that the user can use uh, to specify the um, uh, design of the um, uh, of the uh, of the model. So in this case, actually, I'm going to just also do the following, where I cha I've changed the. Um, the, uh, some of the more extreme dimensions of the model. Uh, I want to move on to the next step of the design process, but before doing so, I also want to say that Motorsolve, as I mentioned earlier, uh, can take into account uh, the end effects of the um, of the model. So these can be done automatically, whereby uh, the software will compute, will, will approximate the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the end ring as a concentric cylinder that you see on your screen and has the ability to also, uh, where the user can specify the inner and outer diameters, et cetera, uh, and as well as specifying an overhang distance 
uh, for this uh, uh, for the end ring that accompanies uh, the uh, rotor bars. Uh, this can also be done manually by specifying the inductance um, or the overhand um, you know, the overhang inductance, ending inductance, and resistances by the user uh, to take um, the uh, uh, to take end effects into account for the rotor. Uh, this um, so having specified the rotor um, dimensions.